I've sort of been thinking about the fact that um, what we now call screen-based art forms have become so pervasive in, in contemporary art practice, not just in Australia but internationally. Um, now, clearly that wasn't always the case. And in fact, if we think back to my early career as, a, as an artist, it was actually very, very difficult to present or project anything in a gallery, um, video or film or whatever. And I mean, so given given the contemporary sort of situation, I began to think, okay, well, if 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 there is such a predominance of screen-based works um, that are now exhibited in galleries, are there any kind of particular tendencies, or any are there any particular um, aspects of what we call contemporary screen-based art or video art uh, that may be typical of what artists are producing today? I, mean, I also began to think too about different artists working at different levels, both um, mature artists who've been practicing for a long time and also mid-career artists and emerging artists. So once again, extending the notion of contrast, if you like, between age groups. And that's sort of something also that hasn't really been um, articulated too often in, in the way um, screen-based um, shows have been curated. If we think, for example, of um, a very established artist like Paul Winkler, who primarily works in film, um, and then contrast him and his practice with, say, Jess McNeil, I would, and Jess, of course, works typically in HD, HD video, um, but they're both preoccupied with very formal, formal interests in the medium itself, both emphasising texture, surface, materiality and that's very typical of what they both do. By contrast, an emerging artist like Nicola Walkerden um, is really also very much concerned with materiality, the physical presence of film, like Winkler, um, except she brings something very different to it. She brings a sort of a, a body performance subjectivity that sort of typifies what she's doing as well. Appropriation is another kind of aspect of what's very typical of um, video art today. Um, now, if we think of, say, the work of Tony Lawrence, who works exclusively, pretty much, with work that he's sourced off eBay, um, Super 8 or 16mm film, he's the, the home movies, basically, that he's kind of reinterpreted and given a, a wonderful kind of reinvention, if you like. Then think of an artist like Joan Ross, whose recent work has been primarily concerned with appropriating the work of Joseph Lassette, the colonial um, English painter. Um, who produced a lot of the early landscape uh, work around Sydney, and of course, of course, the early representation of Aboriginal people um, in 19th century colonial painting. I can also think about another kind of tendency that I think is emerging in contemporary screen-based work, and that would be the notion of sort of transcendence, or transcend the, the notion of the ideal, or the search for some sort of transcendent expression. Found very typically in the work of John Connemos, in the work of Lake Eyre, the single track around Lake Eyre, um, which is really kind of also almost, almost like colour field painting, hence his refer, reference to Mark Rothko. That is set in contrast with the work of Angelica Masiti, the work Rapture, um, and her work is really concerned with just dwelling on this uh, extraordinary um, exploration of two faces of two young girls as they're kind of in an ecstatic state while they're watching something that we're not, we don't know what they're looking at, but whatever it is, they're totally caught up in it. And utterly absorbed in this literally rapturous moment. Um, one can also think about the notion of fetish that has uh, as a tendency in contemporary work, uh, exemplified by the work of Deborah Kelly, um, particularly with Kelly's work, I would call, I would term it a kind of erotic fetish, um, set in contrast with John Gilley's work, uh, where he's really concerned with the notion of consumer fetish. I exemplified by the car uh, in his work Road Movie. I, I was also concerned with looking at another key tendency in contemporary art practice, and that would have to involve the body, performance, and spectatorship. Now, um, two works I've selected really exemplify this tendency. That is the work by Stefan Popescu, Nude Study, which is a direct a kind of a appropriation of uh, Manet's Olympia, uh, painted in 1865, as I recall. Um, and the second being the work by Grant Stevens, Baby Please Don't Go, which is also a remix of the opening scenes of Apocalypse Now, um, 
where we have Martin Sheen playing Captain Willard, who's experiencing a um, alcoholic breakdown as he's waiting for a mission in a hotel room in Saigon. Well, as I said, I was trying to look for um, what I would call overarching tendencies, um, what what is tending to be typical of what's being produced in Australia at the moment. I'd like any audience that comes into a gallery to look at this show to really be stimulated by what they see um, and also to get a sense of the broad range of practices that um, exemplify um, screen-based art um, in, in the kind of the context of contemporary art practice in Australia.